Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those that don't know, my name is Karim and I go by the name of Fuzzy Feet Footwear on both YouTube and Instagram. I'm a UK based part-time shoe reseller and what that means is I buy smelly old shoes for as low as I possibly can and I sell them online on eBay for a profit. So firstly, if you're new around here, please do hit that like button and make sure you subscribe for more future content. So the public has spoken and Fuzzy Feet has listened. By popular demand, today I will be showing you how to clean my shoes in a two part special. I've had a lot of messages on WhatsApp, in reselling groups, um, Instagram. How do I get my shoes so clean, ready for sale? The truth is there is no secret, okay? I buy my shoes in the best overall condition before doing anything to it. If I feel like it could do with a bit of a scrub up and it's worth my time versus the profit, then I will move to this stage, okay? So it's important to know that this is not something that I do for all my shoes, okay? Otherwise, I may as well just do this full-time as opposed to part-time. The whole point of doing it part-time and niching down to just footwear is so that I can just streamline my processes, get things in and get things out. So the first part will be how I clean shoes which are made from mixed fabrics, such as mesh and synthetic. And the second part will be how I clean leather shoes, but that will be in the next video. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my apron on, my gloves, and get my hands dirty. I'm gonna strap you to my chest mount and show you my point of view, exactly what I do step by step to clean my shoes. Right guys, before we do get into this, I'm gonna just take you through my cleaning equipment that I use to clean my shoes. First things first, rubber washing gloves. Um, these are obviously great to avoid skin irritation, chemical transfer, and to keep your hands nice and clean throughout the cleaning process. Next up, I've got a pair of shoe trees or shoe inserts. Um, these are great when photographing. They insert into your shoe and makes your shoe nice and, and bulgy, gives it some shape. But I use them for cleaning just to make sure that I get into all the nooks and crannies and to make sure that I haven't left any dirt out. Next, I have a magic eraser. This is what I use to clean the midsole of my shoes, especially any sort of white midsoles like trainers such as Air Force Ones or running shoes that have a white midsole. This really gets all the dirt out very well. Here I've got a scrubbing pad. Um, one side is a bit more harsh, the other side is soft. This is what I use to actually scrub the cleaning solutions onto my shoes. Here I've got a bristle brush. On one side it's hard, the other side it's soft. I sort of use this as a, as a pre-clean. So the first step that I do when I'm cleaning my shoes is I will use this brush to try and get rid of any excess dirt. Here I've got a wash bag. This is really important if you decide to wash your shoes in a washing machine. This protects the shoe from getting damaged in the machine and it protects the machine from damaging the shoe. Here I've got elbow grease and just your normal fairy washing up liquid. This is my actual solution that I use when treating any dirt in my shoe. And I use these two solutions for stain remover. So this will go into the washing machine, OxyActive Astonish non-bio stain remover. That just goes into the washing machine drawer. And this is what I use to spray any fabrics that have stains um, on the actual shoe before I then place it in this bag to go into the washing machine. So that's it, that's everything that I use to clean my shoes. So these are my project pairs. They are a pair of Nike Zoom Pegasus 34s. As you can see, very dirty, really grimy, but I thought would make a great example for this video. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention is if you can get one of these um, basins to put into your sink, it would be really good. That way, you know, the dirt from the shoe isn't going directly onto the sink. Um, I know some people are a bit funny with washing shoes directly in their sink so this is a great solution for that okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to remove the laces from the shoe and the 
reason why I'm going to remove the laces from the shoes is so that I can get right in there into the insoles when I'm cleaning my shoes. And also what it means is I can actually wash the laces separately. Okay. The next step is insert your shoe trees. Okay. And this is what I was talking about. Give the shoe a nice shape. Ensures you don't miss any dirt. Okay. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take my bristle brush. Okay. The soft side. I am basically going to remove any excess dirt from the upper fabric. Okay. Make sure on the upper fabric you're using the soft bristle brush and not the hard. Otherwise it could damage the fabric. So for the upper, I'm going to remove excess dirt using my soft bristle brush, okay? Then using the hard side, I'm going to do the same thing, but for the soles. And you can see as I'm brushing, how much dirt already has been lifted before even washing the actual shoe. And what I'm gonna do is run some water, just so that I'm doing this just so that the dirt can go down into the actual sink and in the plug hole. So I've done that one. I'm gonna now do the same here, just go over it. Again, with the hard bristle brush. What I also do as well, just to help me, using some cold water. I will let it run across the tread and the outsole and I will make sure I get right in between the grooves. Same with the other one. What a difference already. So the next thing I'm going to do is start cleaning the uppers and to do that I'm going to get my scrubbing pad I want the hard side okay not the soft side and I need some fairy up washing up liquid and some elbow grease okay so what I'm going to do first is use some cold water I'm just going to run it just enough to dampen the upper of the shoe, okay? I don't want the whole shoe completely soaked, but I just want to run some water along the upper, okay? Just to help when it comes to scrubbing the material. I'm gonna do the same with this shoe. Just get it nice and damp, okay? All right, then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna adjust the water temperature warm I'm gonna wet the hard side of my scrubbing pad and I'm gonna pour some fairy washing up liquid on here okay and then I'm going to wet it slightly and I'm gonna begin scrubbing the upper of the shoe okay if you want to get a bit more soap just add a little bit more water but as you can see here using the hard side these this is non-scratch you don't have to worry about it damaging your material i'm gonna just it's not about how 
how fast you do this, it's about just making sure that you are thorough. Right, as you can see, I'm covering everything. The heel, the tongue collar, the toe box area, everywhere, the whole upper. I'm gonna get some elbow grease, just to add to the solution. Couple of sprays around. I'm gonna continue scrubbing. I'm then going to take out the shoe tree so I can start working on the inside. So I'm going to add a bit more washing up liquid, a hint of water, a couple of sprays of elbow grease just to help lift off any excess dirt. And I'm going to start scrubbing the inside, the insoles of the shoe. along the heel lining as well, make sure. That's where a lot of the dirt seems to gather the most. Okay, on the top here. Oh. Right, now that we've pre-washed our uppers, what we're going to do is basically rinse off the upper fabric. So using some cold water, okay. Just gonna gently move the shoe around. You just need a nice steady flow of cold water. It doesn't have to be anything drastic. And we're just looking to basically rinse the shoe. All right, so start with the uppers and then you're gonna do the same thing to the insoles. And you can see a lot of soap coming out there. So when you don't see any more soap, you know you're good to go. Remember guys, this is just a pre-wash, okay? There will be another step. Put that there. And we're gonna do the same on the other shoe. Give it a nice rinse. Already you can see that I've lifted off. There are some marks still there, some stubborn ones. Already you can see I've lifted off quite a lot of the dirt that was sitting on the upper. Again, the insoles out, make sure there's no foam left. Get all that soap out, all that elbow grease out. Right, I think I'm done. Right, the next thing I'm gonna do is tackle the midsoles. This is the midsole section of a shoe, for those that don't know. And what I find best effective is this magic eraser, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just damp the magic eraser. You don't need it to be completely soaked. I'm just gonna damp it. And I'm gonna just very gently just scrub the midsole section of the shoe. Now these magic erasers are very delicate. So if you do it too hard, it will crumble in your hand, okay? They're only designed to sort of be used two, three times, and then you throw it away and use another one. So I'm gonna go ahead now and tackle the midsole of the shoe. I can already see a huge difference just by using the magic eraser. This really does work wonders. Turn it around, do the inside midsole. And there you go, what a difference. So now that we've done the midsoles and the upper, we 
which already look really good. We're going to tackle the outsoles and the grooves. Okay, so we've rinsed them off, but we're actually going to give them a scrub. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a few sprays of elbow grease all over the outsoles. We're then going to put some washing up liquid on it. Okay. And then using some warm water and a hard bristle brush, we're going to give the outsoles a nice scrub. Make sure when we do that, you get into all the grooves. Okay, again, it's not about how hard you do it, it's about consistency. Next, using cold water, what we're going to do is just rinse off the outsole. And what you can do is using the soft side of the bristle brush is you can give it a scrub as the water is rinsing the outsole. So guys, this is the first stage, also known as the pre-wash. Okay, and as you can see, I've done a pretty good job on these, considering they have yet to go into the washing machine. Okay, they should come out even better once they've been in the machine. So what I will now do is prepare them for the machine. And to do that, what I do is I will use this Oxy Active Fabric Stain Remover Spray and I will spray the uppers of the shoe, okay? Now, you can just spray where the stains are, but I like to just give it a once over, all over, just to make sure that I don't miss anything out. Please make sure you're wearing gloves when doing this step. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the shoe washing bag, ready to go into a cycle. I will do the same thing with this pair. Okay, I'm not scrubbing it into the fabric. I'm simply just spraying it and allowing it to work its magic, allowing it to soak in the shoe. Okay, I'm gonna place that in there. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the laces. So first, I'm just gonna wet them. And then, I'm gonna spray them with some stain remover. To be fair, these laces are in good condition anyway. Rub them together. Get that stain remover spray right in the laces. And I'm gonna pop them in the bag with the shoes, ready to go. Right, so stage two is the washing stage. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I've got my shoes here. I'm going to pop them into the drum of my washing machine. I'm going to use one detergent pod, okay, doesn't really matter which one, chuck it in there, okay, close the drum, in the compartment drawer, I am going to use this Oxy Active Stain Remover, this is for colours and white, so just make sure whichever brand you go for is applicable to the shoe you are washing, okay. 
I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to pour some into the detergent compartment. As I've already used the pod, I don't need to add any detergent powder. Okay. It'll tell you on the back how much to use. Um, I'm just sort of used to it by now. Okay, there's not a lot in there, but it's only one pair of shoes that you are washing. I'm going to close that. I'm going to turn my machine on. And I am looking for, in my case, number 10. Okay, number 10 is a quick wash. All right, it's 30 minutes and it's 30 degrees. It's really important when you are washing shoes, in particular trainers, you do not go above 30 degrees. You want 30 degrees cold water quick wash cycle. Any longer than that, any hotter than that, you are risking separation to your shoes and damage, okay? And now we're ready to go. And the cycle is done. So let's see how these bad boys turned up. Okay, and here they are. Let's open up the wash bag and see how our babies are doing. Wow, wow, wow. Would you just look at that? Absolutely amazing condition. Right into the insoles, the outsoles, the fabric upper. Really chuffed with how these came out. Not a speck of dirt on them. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you clean synthetic or mesh shoes. And the last step of the process is to just leave them to air dry. Um, they usually dry for me within 24 hours if left within room temperature. Um, I don't use heaters or anything like that to try and speed up the process. But if I was a full timer, then I may look at doing that so that I can get them photoed, listed, and out the door quicker. At this point also, I may also consider using a fabric shaver or a debobbler just to remove any of the um, excess fabric that might be coming off due to general wear. And again, with this, I'm not sure how well you can see it, I'd normally use scissors just to trim off any loose thread. So guys, that's how I clean my fabric shoes. Um, I hope you found this really useful and helpful. Remember, there isn't just one way to clean shoes. There's various different ways, but you just have to find what works for you, as I found this works for me. So um, please make sure you stay tuned because I will be releasing a part two on how to clean leather shoes. If you haven't already, again, please do subscribe. Please do hit that like button. It will help me with putting out more future content. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one.